this is Alex. I do research on various products over the years, and uh, this video is going to be about uh, using infrared thermal imaging to try to measure and anal analyze and see if drinking hydrogen water, hydrogen-rich water, um, and also uh, spraying hydrogen water on the body um, is able to actually uh, alter values on this very well-known uh, way of looking at functional health diagnostics. Um, <clears throat> it's also known as thermography, and you can go below in the description of this video, um, and you can kind of read up more on it. There's many different clinics and uh, practitioners that rely in part on these sorts of scans, which we will go over. Um, and I also need you to read between the lines. Um, there is the, about as far as, you know, what sort of hydrogen device made the water or the samples that was used. Um, uh, just for um, FDA reasons, I can't necessarily say exactly what, but you can always contact me um, to find that information. Um, so first thing, before we actually review the results of consumption and spraying, um, let's just take a look here, and I just want to quickly cover a couple things, uh, just so you understand what this um, type of technology can do in terms of how it looks at the body and what it means. Um, so let's just quickly read this. Infrared imaging is a neurovascular functional physiological evaluation tool. These images capture temperature variations portrayed in a color palette, which we'll go over. Colors of the rainbow, white red is the highest temperature and black violet is the lowest temperature. Uh, the hypothalamus in your brain regulates the temperature of your blood supply to every muscle, organ, and gland. Changes in blood flow to a body part produces a corresponding temperature response consistent with how that body part is being affected. And we would say affected from a um, health, you know, positive health perspective um, or negative. Uh, infrared imaging captures the autonomic, functional, and dysfunctional state of multiple systems of the body uh, with each image. Functional infrared is an advanced integrative view from thermography, an integrative viewpoint, point of view of the interrelationship of body parts and systems that has corresponding thermal heat patterns demonstrated on the skin. These skin heat signatures are consistent with what body part is being affected. Functional infrared has a structural, lymphatic, vascular, neurological, integrative analysis that focuses on the optimal body functional point of view and frequently the condition dysfunction occurs before disease diagnoses can be rendered. Um, so some of the functional infrared benefits, um, you can analyze different sites on the body for signs of inflammation, uh, lymphatic ingestion, a lot of times that just goes hand in hand together, um, new vascular development, vascular uh, disfigurement without radiation or invasive procedures provides a neurological, structural, digestive, Elimination conditions analysis as a health assessment as part of a preventative process. Um, so again, part of the reason that practitioners do this uh, is because it's useful for sometimes seeing things in the body um, before they get too acute um, or extreme in terms of manifesting symptoms uh, and where then finally somebody notices that something's wrong. Um, so it is kind of useful to kind of see things and make a forecast, if that makes sense. So um, one thing to also add is that uh, the way that they control um, these tests for variables uh, as far as um, if somebody's just like feeling hotter that day or maybe they're wearing extra clothes or maybe the room temperature is warm, what they basically do is the room that they test in is controlled, the temperature always is about the same temperature and then they have the person completely disrobed so they're literally just there um, and cooling their body down okay without any clothes on so they want the person to the body to kind of adapt to the temperature that's in that room and then they actually do the analysis the actual pictures okay um, so let's just take a look at this first one and we'll just quickly kind of talk through this so again if it's in this upper section of the bar here um, reds oranges uh, and even some white hot spots uh, this is um, what we would say a part of the body that is you know having some issues okay so that's too hot basically what we really ideally want to look for in terms of what is um, more balanced is going to be basically more in like the blue 
and green zones, okay, so somewhere towards the center. Um, and maybe even, that's okay if it's even a little bit lower, aqua, blue, but you get the idea, you just want it to be cooler down in this area, okay? Um, or even, if it's too, too, too cold down there, um, you know, sometimes that's a sign that you're just not having enough circulation to an area, so there can be that as well. You never want to be on the extremes, okay? So, in here, there's just a lot of things going on. A lot of people, by the way, have a lot of sinus stuff that, happening. Um, they harbor a lot of different pathogens. And also, we see signs of this nowadays quite commonly, even with kids, uh, because of radiation from holding their cell phones and tablets. This is extremely common. And then this translates to other issues. Uh, but we're not going to get into that. So um, this is all pre. So it's going again, I just want you guys to kind of walk through this before we see hydrogen results. So uh, again, obviously we see here, right, in the carotid and sides of the neck, we see again some some issues, um, imbalances. And on the left side, we have some even more extreme issues right around here. Now, again, on this video, we're not going to be, we're not going to really be discussing like, hey, what are all the possibilities of what could be causing this? You know what I mean? That's not the goal of the video. Um, the goal of the video is actually just to kind of show hydrogen consumption, okay? Um, so drinking hydrogen water, okay? And then um, the crazy thing is that you can already obviously instantly see changes here. Um, and this is 20 minutes, okay? So um, we already see some improved forehead, joint mastoid sinuses left and right, oral inflammation, sinus drainage, things like that. Um, it's extremely rapid how hydrogen works in the body. And the reason is because it's the smallest element, which allows when you consume it or hold it in the mouth, it can easily passively diffuse um, everywhere um, like it's not you're not waiting for like all these areas in her body to hydrate that's not that's not the mechanism it's a signaling mechanism so the uh, the hydrogen is so small again it can go all these areas rapidly and then furthermore then initiates a signaling cascade and signals can of course travel really fast and that's part of this these rapid changes as well 20 minutes that's how fast it is okay so if she has any symptoms health symptoms associated with these things um, consistently um, helping the body to come back into more homeostasis here um, could assist her uh, with what she has going on now you know obviously in my language I'm being a little vague on purpose uh, if you just look at the studies which are incredibly impressive uh, you'd see it really does all kinds of amazing therapeutic things. All right, so um, again, I just want to point out, by the way, you see the little white spots right there in the eyes? Um, we see that specifically a lot of times um, from EMF, from phones and tablets, just so, just if you're curious about that. Especially when it's like right around there versus in here, which is more sinus, or here, which is sinus, right in there. Anyways, all right, so we're seeing some really crazy hot spots, obviously in all these areas. And we have some stuff going on in the neck area. Okay. Um, these hot spots, they're tricky. Well, wow. yeah, tricky stuff. Um, okay, but we do, as you can see, with the lower part of the neck here, we have some nice changes, some cooling happening. Let's see the signs here. Yeah, she's a tricky case, but um, whatever she has going on in the neck, um, you know, that's, that's shifting. Um, okay, right, let's move on. Okay, so got a lumbar region here. So we have a consumption and then we also have um, hydrogen water sprayed or sorry, sprayed on the area, uh, which if you don't know that you can always make hydrogen rich water and you can uh, soak it in a washcloth or whatever you really want to do and you can hold it on an area of the body maybe you have a burn or maybe um, uh, an area of inflammation or something that hurts you anyways i'm just letting you know though the uh, the hydrogen in the water is again so small that it will absorb right through the pores of the body very easily and go directly into action uh, if you have the machines that produce gas, which I could guide you on, you can also um, produce the gas and you can send it into the body um, through like an applicator, just so you know. 
So as you can obviously see, there's a lot of changes here that are quite significant. And I would just like to add here too, if you guys are not familiar with thermography and infrared thermal, um, these changes that we're seeing in terms of temperature, uh, normally it's rare uh, to see anything change in temperature that significantly. It's extremely rare. And if it does happen, uh, it usually requires like um, a lot of lifestyle changes, um, more of a complex protocol. And we would expect to kind of like see something like this with, you know, a lot of changes, a new protocol, a variety of things that he might be doing. Um, and then, you know, come back for testing like two months later, right? It would be that sort of scenario, maybe at the soonest a month later. Um, but generally it's going to be, we're going to be looking for changes like this after weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of doing various health things. Um, so to see this so rapidly is extremely unusual. As you can see, here's another one that illustrates it even better. Just seeing that incredible significant change there. And again, um, it's because hydrogen can go anywhere rapidly. You know, up in the neck, seeing significant changes as well. It's good to see some changes here too, because this will have an effect on blood flow to the brain, one of the main areas in here, and could have even an effect on glymphatic, glymphatic activity. Uh, of the brain and helping the brain to recycle its water and clean itself and cleanse itself, uh, especially if you consume some hydrogen water right before bedtime where a lot of that activity takes place. Um, and as you can see, there, I mean, it's just incredible, right? Just take a glance at everything here. Now look at that. So this was actually done in three different time periods. So you can kind of see gradual changes, but um, yeah. Just huge. Now look at that. Unbelievable. You know, again, that would be something we'd be looking to accomplish over a, a period of time. Uh, but hydrogen is rapid, and, and a lot of people actually do feel hydrogen uh, water when they drink it, even from their first uh, dose, so to say. Uh, if they don't feel it the first day, usually by the next day or the following day. Um, so people, almost everybody to this point, I've been in this a while, 95% of people, they do really notice a difference. So... Let's see, let's move here. Um, just another example, big contrast here. Very rapid, rapid changes. This is a lot of, a lot of different health things we could talk about here, by the way, but we're not going to as far as seeing changes. But do you see that extreme, extreme temperature drop in there? Look at that. This is uh, <laughs> not a lot of good things happening here on a health level, um, but extreme reduction. You know, this is something like acute, let's just say. And now we're just not quite as acute, but a lot more work needs to be done. Um, but look at how low it even traveled here. Look at that. So of course, when hydrogen enters also the, the gut, you know, as it goes down the esophagus and it's going everywhere, um, hydrogen is very light, the gas. So um, it creates a whole bunch of signaling cascade here through this whole region and throughout the body. But the gas itself also has a tendency to rise up, actually, going upwards. So if you drink it, it's not just going to like just stay there and only here. It's going to also travel as well. So it will spread as you consume and then also on the way back up too as it rises. Again, you, you all are probably getting used to knowing what to look for. A little pattern over here, you see that? Look at that. All the way up there, and now look at that. That's extreme, extreme beneficial change. Extreme, very rare, very rare to see that. You'd see that over time. Just, just, it's like night and day. Massive changes, as you can see, some lung stuff, see that? So I just want to point this one out because you don't always see with um, things that help the body uh, and the immune system, you don't always see uh, a cooling effect, just so you know. Uh, sometimes you see an increase in circulation and a immune response. So like in this situation, um, and I can't quite remember what the case was, but like if uh, there's something, let's say, going on in the lungs, which a lot of people actually have, things they're carrying around, 
um, if you aid the body and the support the immune system and things like that, uh, then sometimes you see something like this as the immune system starts to become active in an area and you have a lot of beneficial metabolic responses, let's just say, um, going into the lung area. So um, that's probably what is happening here. And this has been seen, by the way, it's not like something totally new, this sort of scenario does happen. Um, so in other words, if uh, in the course of like thermography and stuff, if somebody's going on a protocol, um, you know, during certain phases over weeks and weeks, uh, you do sometimes see things and they look like they're getting worse, but that's not the case. It's, um, it's just areas becoming more active. And then what we would expect to see is as things increased like this, um, like a couple weeks later, for it now to go back the other direction and cool down. Um, if it just increases and stays that way, of course, like hypothetically for months, obviously that wouldn't be a good sign. But that's normal sometimes to see an increase and then go back to cooling again. And then, then you know, like, okay, the body has got a handle on whatever is happening here, and now it's returned back to a greater state of homeostasis. So there's things you track over time with thermography. Already saw these. Again, massive stuff here is just spreading. Hydrogen having a, a just spreading all over the place and having an effect. As you can see. This is pretty extreme change, right? Gosh, I'm just trying to think. Like, I don't even know what would be causing that. But either way, you get the idea. Pretty incredible stuff. major noticeable changes. If you all have any questions about this, and um, if you also want to talk about other types of machines besides just consuming the water, and if you want to get into inhalation, sometimes that's useful, depending on what the uh, the application is. Uh, but you can always reach out. You can find my direct email address below.